everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is day seven, which means we have been social distancing for exactly one week. I am coming to you today from my bed and this is where I've spent most of the day. I haven't felt too well and it's not like a bad throat or a cough, it's my tummy. I've been getting really bad tummy pains and I don't know if it's because I've been eating rubbish. Um, what I mean about that is that we've not really been having like our three meals that we normally have. Like we would normally have breakfast, go to work, have our lunch at work, come home and have dinner on the table. We've literally just been waking up anytime we want having a snack for breakfast and then like snack throughout the day and then I'm not hungry for tea so we haven't been eating like dinner so I think I need to get back into a routine of cooking some good food we're actually going to go out today and go to the shops at some point it's getting quite late now but at some point because I just really want to get some fruit and veg and just cook a really nice meal because I'm just not feeling good and I do think it is because I am eating rubbish Today I am going to be filming a tag. I have never done this before, but I've seen a few people do it on YouTube and I just thought it would be quite a good thing to do. Some of the questions are really good. Some of the questions people have asked me before. So I thought I would just do this tag. Um, it's all about YouTube, basically, and things like that. I know a lot of people are obviously bored at the minute and they're watching Disney Plus and Netflix and YouTube so some of these questions are probably quite helpful like favourite YouTubers and stuff that I have. So yeah, I hope you enjoy, I hope you guys are not as bored as me, um, I'd love to know what you guys are filling the time with, let me know down in the comments um, and yeah, let's just get started. The first question is why and when did you start YouTube? Now, I actually got a YouTube channel years and years ago and I liked creating little clips of like my holidays and where I worked, but just with like photos, not really talking. But I properly started YouTube in May last year, so it's coming up to my one year anniversary. And the question is why is because I just wanted to document my life. I feel like I've got quite an interesting life. Um, I do a lot, I travel a lot, I've worked in some amazing places. So I just thought why not document it? Obviously because I do travel a lot, I don't get to see my family and um, every day like most people and I can't catch them up with what I've been doing so I thought if I created a YouTube channel they'll be able to turn me on whenever they want and see what I've been up to. That is why and when I started YouTube. The next question is what was the reason you started your channel and how does that compare to why you make videos today? So I basically answered that in the first question it's because I wanted my family to see what I get up to and also because obviously I do a lot so I'd like to document it as memories and that hasn't changed at all. Within the year I still want to make the videos for the same reason. I still want to make them for memories for me. To be so upset if all my videos got deleted. Not because of like the subscribers or the likes or anything like that. It's just purely because they are literally my memories. Um, it's a bit like inside out when they've got all their little memory bubbles. That's what my channel is like. It's like all my little memories in one place. If I'm feeling down or I want cheering up or just want to go back over one of my, those memories, I can go on my channel and just watch any of them and it makes me so happy. And like I said, that doesn't change from the last year from when I started YouTube to now. It's exactly the same. Who was the first person you subscribed to? This is really easy. The very first person I ever subscribed to was someone called Brogan Tate. If you don't watch her, make sure you go over and subscribe to her. She's trying to reach 100K this year. Um, she's absolutely amazing, she's inspirational. She basically vlogs every single day. So she has like weekly vlogs and they're just so relatable. Like I can relate to all all of her vlogs. Like when she's upset, she films. When she's happy, she films. And she's just such a relatable person. She also is in love with Disney, like me. So yeah, that is why I subscribed to her, first of all, because I loved watching her Disney vlogs. I'll leave her page down below. The next question is, who is the most recent channel you have subscribed to? The most recent channel I have subscribed to was Sophie and Dave, and I can't believe I haven't subscribed to them before because they have Disney vlogs, they're like a couple, and that's the channel that I like, and I can't believe I haven't found them before. It's the new channel that I have subscribed to, and I'll leave their channel down below as well. What is your least favourite video you have ever uploaded? Looking back, I actually don't think I've got a video that I that is like my least favourite because I like 
like I said, they're all memories. So when I was just looking over them all then, like even though some are like really bad in quality or the editing's really bad, I'm still really proud of it. Like I took my time to edit it and yeah, I wouldn't have uploaded something that I don't think was worth being on there and every one of them is in memory. So no, I, I don't think I can give you an answer that to that question just because I really like all my videos. It's your most popular video and why do you think that is? Now over the whole year I would say the most popular video is probably um, my Prostatin video for New Year. I think it's called New Year at Pontins Prostatin. That's probably my most popular. It's got just over 3,000 views now which obviously isn't a lot but I am a very small YouTuber so to me that is crazy. Um, and every day someone actually watches that video, which is really, really nice. I'll leave that in the box down below in case you wanna go have a look at it. I don't know why I think it's the most popular. I don't know if it's because it's just short and sweet. Uh, it basically shows you like a behind the scenes of an entertainer at a holiday park at New Year. And it's actually quite fun. Like I love watching that one over. It's really, really good. So that is my most popular video. How many videos have you privated or unlisted? Um, I don't think I have done that yet. I am going to do this Q&A now and I would like to do this Q&A again in like five years time just to compare it because obviously by then I probably have privated a few of the older videos but right now at this current time there is none that you guys can't see. Which YouTuber would you choose above the rest in your subscription box at the moment? Oh I've got so many good ones. Oh, I've got so many good. I'm going to choose the Bucket List family. I absolutely love the Bucket List family and they motivate me to travel so much. After I've watched one of their vlogs, I will literally go online and look at the cheapest deal for the next place that I've never been to before. They're absolutely incredible. It's a little family that goes around the world traveling and it's just so, so good. Um, I'll leave those down in the box as well. What was the hardest video for you to film? I think information videos are really hard to film just because you don't want to miss any information out. For example, like my Canadian process one, they're so much harder. With a vlog, you can just upload it and just take like little bit of boring bits out. But with information videos, you have to make sure that you get across what you're trying to say. You've got input like websites and pictures and they literally take hours for me to make. So yeah, that's the hardest video, like information videos. If all of your videos were deleted, which one would you keep? That's so hard. Like I said at the beginning, I'd be so upset if any of my videos got deleted because they are all such good memories for me. But the one that I would like to keep is my very first Magic Kingdom one um, from January. I didn't talk in it, it's just literally a big montage. It's when I've like basically first started filming, so I didn't really talk much. I was a bit nervous to talk in front of people. But it's such a beautiful clip. I actually used the Magic Kingdom Happily Ever After song, and it, me and Jake watch it all the time. When we're like down or we just want cheering up, we turn it on because it's such a happy memory for me. It's the first time I ever went to Disney and Magic Kingdom, and it just brightens my day. What is the best thing to have come out of creating a YouTube account? The best thing I think is the community. The amount of people that have like added me on Instagram and spoke to me saying that your like videos are inspirational, they're really informative, like thank you so much for actually making me want to move to Canada now and just helping people out. I think that's like the biggest thing that I've got out of this channel. It's obviously all my memories are in one place. And I absolutely love that. But the amount of people that actually reach out to me as just such a small YouTuber, like I'm like this tiny and there's still people that like write to me saying, asking me questions and saying, thank you so much. You answered my questions and stuff like that. What is the one piece of advice you would give other YouTubers? Um, not as in YouTubers, but people that want to make YouTube. Because I can't give advice to YouTubers, like, I'm a new YouTuber. But people that want to start YouTube, just do it. Like, that's one of my biggest regrets, I think, is not starting it earlier. I've had so many amazing holidays and memories through other jobs and things that I wish I documented it. And I wish I started earlier. That is my only regret because now I don't have those memories um, on my my board like my channel because I didn't start earlier 
and that's probably my one regret so that's one thing i'd say if you're watching this and you want to start youtube just do it like i know it's so scary but that is honestly one of my biggest regrets and then the last thing is list your current favorite youtubers in the description so i will do that all the youtubers that i subscribe to i think there's about 20 or something like that i'm going to leave them down in the box below just to let you know what kind of youtubers i like i love like couple youtubers that do it together just because i can like relate to that because like me and Jake obviously are in all of my vlogs. I love Disney vloggers, obviously I'm Disney crazy. Um, I love like home decor as well. Like there's a new YouTuber that I just started watching called Lone Fox. He like creates uh, home decor with Ikea stuff. And that's about it. Like I just love vlogs. Like I love watching everyday vlogs and I love watching like Q&A. So I will leave all my favorite YouTubers down below. So if you're bored and you don't know what to do, go check them all out because everyone I subscribe to, I absolutely love. But thank you so much for watching guys. I just wanted to keep this one really short today because obviously I'm not feeling too good and I'm just gonna crawl in a ball and just lie back in bed now. But I didn't wanna miss the day because I did tell you that I was gonna vlog every single day and I didn't wanna let you down. So this is my little video for today like i said i'm gonna do another one of these in like four or five years time i should actually do one of these every year yeah let's set that little goal so once a year i'm gonna upload one of these uh youtube dat tag videos to see how much my questions change and i'd love to say that i'm still doing youtube this time next year um it'll be nice to look back on as well but i hope you all are well i'm gonna go to the shops as well today to obviously get some healthy food um tomorrow i'm not too sure i want to do a fake tan video um but i don't know if i'm going to be able to get any fake tan um but we'll we'll stay tuned i'm definitely going to be doing a video every day even though it's a sit down and chatty one like this but thank you so much remember to hit the thumbs up if you like the video like i said it does really help me out if you're new here i'd love you to hit subscribe don't forget, if I hit 500 by May, I'll be doing a giveaway to one of you guys. But thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.